Good morning from Riga, capital city of Latvia. It's a pretty foggy day. I'm here in the Dom Square, right in front of uh, Riga Cathedral. I woke up a bit late, had some brunch at Lido's, some chicken pieces with cabbage. It was pretty good, but if you want to know, my favorite Lido in town remains the Vermanitis one. Sorry if I mispronounced it. Uh, maybe I'll have dinner there and show you. It's also in the center, but not really in the heart of the old town like this one, which uh, makes it a bit less touristy and the food is way better. Let's walk a bit around. I need to make a few steps after that meal. Dom Square is one of the main attractions in Riga and actually in the whole Latvia. And uh, this uh, cathedral here, Riga Cathedral, uh, was built in uh, 1211. That's over 800 years ago. It's quite impressive. In front of the cathedral in the winter, you can also visit the main Christmas market in town. It's unfortunately not open now, but uh, I got to see it a few years back, so I can show you some photos. I'm not sure the photos uh, captured the real atmosphere of, of the Christmas market, but it was really nice. I had an amazing time there. I know it's not as famous as the Tallinn Christmas market that won a few prizes lately, but uh, for me it was extremely lovely. Okay, let's, uh, let's move on. The Christmas Armadillo. Pretty house. A lot of pretty houses here and the Latvian flag. All these streets, all these little streets in the old town are so pretty. Not too bad we have some cars and some souvenir shops to, to ruin a little bit the view, but uh, otherwise it's really pretty. This house especially. And here we have a medieval restaurant. I think it's closed at the moment. It's supposed to be a, a spooky place here in Riga. Let's see. The restaurant is temporarily closed due to technical reasons. You mean like COVID technical? Yeah, it is close. A very narrow street. Very slippery. Have to be careful here. Did not fall on ice the whole year. And I want to keep it this way. And from here you can take a great photo with these uh, pretty houses. This blue one with the cows and uh, that red one. And some Latvian flags. And in between you can see the tower of the cathedral. Well, when it's not so foggy, this would definitely make a good photo spot. Great photo opportunity here. And even more pretty houses here on Jauniela. Poor guy has been decapitated, <laughs> but otherwise it's a pretty nice uh, 
decoration outside. From the Dome Square, you can go in here, Caballela, and you're gonna find more points of interest, like uh, one of them being this street, Trokshnu Biela. It's a very narrow cobblestone street with many very colorful buildings. Here on the right hand side, you can see the good father. Not the godfather, apparently, but the good father. That's a nice uh, pizza place. And uh, look at this street. It's a bit difficult to walk on at the moment. At the end of this uh, street, you can find the ghost. Looks very good. It's actually a modern piece. It was unveiled uh, just a couple of years ago, I think in 2015. The ghost of Riga. We just saw the ghost. Here we have a short cafe with a pistol and uh, just about uh, 10 meters away we have a cartel bar what a street huh <laughs> totally recommended and the corner bar a lot of handicraft shops and uh, some uh, shady bars Looks good to me. And on this building here in the corner, you have uh, Latvia, coat of arms, Riga, Ilgava, and then a lot of other places. Not only it's Monday and everything is closed, but there's also a lot of police around here. Probably there's uh, some important uh, meeting or summit or something, something political, I'm sure. And uh, furthermore, there's also very foggy today. So it's a way of saying that even outside is kind of closed because you cannot really take uh, so many great photographs. Or if maybe you could. And some screaming kids. Okay, the package is complete. Otherwise, this park would be pretty beautiful. And if this wasn't enough, they put this uh, sand everywhere, on every path, so <laughs> people don't break their legs. Which is fine, thank you very much. I'm not gonna break my legs, I appreciate that, but uh, mm, pure white snow would have looked a tad better, don't you think? A tad. Okay, let's go down to the frozen river. Ah, this is pretty. Some reflections, a little bit. And this very dark looking river. Okay, I like this. And a lot of gold fighting for a piece of bread. Yeah, that's more like it. 
Look at this. Looks very slippery. I don't want to end up there. But there are a lot of dogs there. I kind of want to film them too. A lot of dogs. Like a lot of them. They don't seem to mind the cold waters of uh, this canal. And uh, behind there is a monument, the Freedom Monument. It's uh, 40 something meters. It's a monument for, for the heroes, for the Latvians who died between 1918 and 1920. They fought for, uh, for the independence. <laughs> that was cute. And the small bridge, absolutely packed with these uh, love lockets. What do you think? I gotta say it again, it's absolutely gruesome. Why would you do that? <laughs> Crazy. Love locket. <laughs> Cuties. Okay, let's go. Whoa. I'm surrounded. And a small pond here as well. Some ducks chilling here in the snow, eating some grass. Is this a friend of Steven Seagal's? You can stay here, man. I don't have a problem with you. Monument of Freedom here. And a bunch of tourists who take uh, photos with uh, the monuments behind them okay no problem with that but uh, there are two guards in the standing position there and uh, like uh, like these guards at buckingham palace for example and uh, these tourists take selfies or whatever photos their friends uh, take photos of them pretending they are guards as well and all this kind of crap like why this, this is so annoying isn't it <laughs> I, are you feeling proud that you have a photo pretending you're a guard? And that guy is probably cursing the shit out of it in, in his mind, but he cannot really do anything because he's supposed to stay straight and uh, have this poker face kind of look, you know? I don't know, this, this is really annoying. And this is the Opera of Riga, National Opera House of Latvia. It's gonna look better probably in a couple of hours when the lights uh, will be on. Very nice park. It's uh, perfect to... It's perfect for uh, evening or night photographs here. You can take some pretty good shots but uh, be sure you bring a tripod. Monument to the mayor of Riga 120 years ago George Armitstan It's a really beautiful park here The canal close to the opera house A lot of sculptures 
and monuments and a bit of snow, docks, seagulls and everything. Hi. Look at this big guy. There's a, a plague dedicated to Khrushchev who freed a lot of innocent people from uh, the Soviet gulags and uh, let the people in the Soviet Union, including here in Latvia, to express themselves uh, more freely. And uh, of course, people appreciated that. They uh, could get more artistic and uh, say things they had in their minds for, for a long time without uh, having the fear of, uh, you know, ending uh, up badly.